What's up my friends? Today I have so many new stickers so I thought I'd use some of them straight away decorating some daily pages. So let's get into it. I'll show you what I have and then we'll decorate together. So first I received a box from Just Starkey. She has a new rep team she's calling the Star Team. I think something like that. Um, but I am part of that through the beginning of August. So I got a little goodie box with lots of stuff, including stickers. So I'm just going to show you everything I got. First is this scrunchie. Feels really nice. I haven't tried it yet. Then we have this little thing to hook up to keys or make a bookmark out of or something like that. It's really cute. It came with this little thank you. Um, I just love the colors in it. And then this is definitely a keychain for your keys. I'm going to go put this on my keys after this video because it's really cute. Um, and she makes these herself, so that's really fun. All right, and if you like any of this stuff, you can go to her website, juststarkey.com, and use the code Amy10 to save 10%. All right, I got some planning pins. I need to figure out where to put these. Um, this one says, you like planning, let's be friends. And this one says, stickers make me happy. So I think these are really, really cute. I need to figure out, I need like a pin wall. I'm starting to get more pins. Some wax seals. I've been seeing a couple of shops start to come out with these and that's super cool. So I'll have to use them in like an art journal spread or something like that. All right, and then we have some stickers. So, this one's really nice. It has some different words on here, like goals and meal plans and to-do and stuff. And it's called Abstract Notes. I really like the colors on this one. Then this one's Believe It Can Happen, and it's also pretty abstract looking. And then this one's Dotty Desert and much more neutral. So these are really, really pretty. Um, and I've gotten her stickers before I did the uh, what was it? It was like a winter box, um, when you open up one day at a time, um, too early in the morning, it's five something to remember the name Advent, <laughs> an Advent calendar. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, and so I got a lot of stickers from her from that. So, um, stickers are really good quality. And then these are like vinyl stickers. I think you can put them on like water bottles and stuff. So I'm going to try them on my big water bottle and see how they work. All right. So we'll use some of those stickers today. Then I also just got a package in from Wrong Wrong. I have ordered way too much this week, you guys. Everyone has had releases and I've bought it all. Um, <laughs> I ordered from Wrong Wrong. I ordered from Planny Thing. I ordered from... Amber plans her day in Mojo Jo, Mojo Jojo plans, and also from Live Love Posh. So um, I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys in the coming weeks because I couldn't not order from any of them. I've been wanting to support small business more, and it's been a while since I've ordered from some of them, and it was the first time I'd ordered from Amber plans her day or Mojo Jojo. So I'm pretty excited to see all that. But anyways, from Wrong Wrong, I got this spring pet tape. I have the sticker here I need to take off. It was um, keeping all of it safe. I got one sticker off, but um, it's really cute spring pet tape is what they're calling it. It's like washi tape, but with stickers on it. So really cute. So we'll use that as well today. Then I got a bullet journal sticker book. So many people got this ahead of time that I'm not going to bother doing a full flip through for you on here. I'll do a little flip through over on TikTok, but um, that's what the bullet journal one looks like. <laughs> and then this is a quick peek at the bookworm one. All right, so we're gonna do some decorating with all of these things today. And if I have energy, um, once we've used all of this, if I still have more pages to decorate and the baby's not yet awake, 
then I'll pull out the planning a life I love sticker book from Pella Plan because I just recently pulled that one out again and have been reminded how much I love it. Okay, so the last one I decorated was this. It was Happy Planner um, Wild Jungle. So now I'm on the back side. So let's go ahead. I need to put that away and not use those in that. Let's go ahead. I'd like to save the grocery list and meal planning one for when I'm actually doing meal planning. So not in a daily page. Let's go ahead and use this one. This is really pretty, but we will need some boxes with it. So let's see what kinds of boxes I have in here. It's been a while since I've pulled this one out. Ooh, these blues will work perfectly. Okay. Grab a big blue box. I definitely love to put those down sometime. Middle or side? Let's do the side. All right, and then we need to figure out what's gonna go up here. Like I could just, this would cover up all of the self-care section too, but that's okay. See those blues work so well together. Right, and then for that, let's go ahead and put down two, maybe three. Of these I think three and we can kind of turn this into a whole self-care section and I will write down three things for self-care that I'd like to do that day All right I'm just gonna white out this other line because we don't need it there Then we're just going to get abstract all over the place in here and put some things in. And the make it happen actually is going to be really nice over here by the self-care because that's the thing as a mom with a four-month-old and a four-year-old, self-care is the first thing that usually goes when days get busy. So we are going to make it happen. <laughs> okay, let's get a couple more boxes in. I think that's some good layering. So let's go ahead and put that in. Then this trust down here over the top. Then we have all these little hearts and we can make this little section right here with some hearts because we have this space to fill. But maybe one of the hearts can then fill this space. All right, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? That's a great little daily page. The other thing I could do to pop some color in there is grab my blues because I've been loving doing mild liners and I can either line it to just add color or color the dots. I think today, since there's so much color here, I'm gonna line this just to bring the color across the page. So I'm gonna do every other one. And I could bring in the yellow or the pink, but I'm kind of just loving the blue look. So, yeah, I have a sticker on the back that's causing that little line. Oh well, I'll just go lighter on the mild liner and yep, stopped that line from happening. Okay. Awesome. All right, and there's that one. All right, next up, yep, let's use this pet tape from Wrong Wrong, and I pulled out colorful boxes so that we could use that with it.
So we need to choose something super bright. So probably this side. And these are all clear stickers. So I'm probably gonna wanna put them down first because they won't layer on top of this well. But let's just find an idea of the stickers I'd like to use so I know where to place everything. Let's see, yellow's gonna be great. The pink is gonna be great. The purple's gonna be great. We could kind of use those as our colors because I've already used up some of the blues. I used up a lot of these. <laughs> but I do have these ones and I do have these. I'll definitely need one of those. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put these reminders down over here kind of in a row actually if I can get it all straight all right then let's get started picking some things I'm actually going to put this here and try to put a box sticker just under her ankles. I'm trying to bring in more of the yellow. So there's this yellow hat that actually layers okay over it. Um, not everything will, but okay all right and then I definitely want to bring this other girl into it too before I get any further and we'll just put her at the bottom corner of the page if I can get her down smoothly all right let's put the dress down first no I want to keep your feet in it though your shoes are so lovely there we go, close enough. I've been having trouble with these scissors. My other scissors are upstairs. Or are they, nope, they are in. I actually brought my pen pouch down. They're in my pen pouch. I used those other scissors for a project and kind of ruined the blade on them. So I probably should just throw away those scissors and not do that again to any scissors ever again. Um, <laughs> whoops. All right, let's do a bright pink one. That's going to look lovely. Let's find something to fit in there. Maybe the purple. Oh, that's a nice spot for those shoes. And then something right in there. How about the butterfly? All right, and then do we have anything that'll fit in there nicely? Oh. Do this I've been loving doing this on occasion um, where you put that down and then line this one up like this so that it uh, isn't necessarily used for the monthly spread and then bring some more yellow in. Let's just put this here across her ankles anyways, because I always feel like it looks weird when people end at the ankles. Um, <laughs> just me, I know. Let's see. We can bring in a little more yellow with this bag right here. 
and just throw in the watch and maybe another flower. Yeah. All right. So she's really shiny over here, but she's pretty. Just the lighting. <laughs> um, okay. Today's focus. Let's white out the exclamation mark and kind of make a little, there's some really nice things in here that would work for self-care, like buy myself a coffee and have a treat. And how about get myself some flowers, like a little self-care treat day. That sounds awesome. So there we go. <laughs> and that is probably good. See, it starts over here. That's probably good on this one, though I am still loving using the mild liners for highlighting things. So first I'm looking for, there it is, this little piece of tape to hold this in place. Um, so put that away and grab my mild liners. See, we're using purple and pink and yellow is in my pen pouch for this month. So let's grab that. Okay. And we're just going to highlight over here. I've just been loving doing that to add more color to the page lately. So every third one, I'll rotate the colors. Mm, let's do yellow, let's follow this pattern here. Ooh, this looks so good. I'm seriously so happy that I made all these purchases, but I need to stop buying stickers. Um, so once everything arrives, I'll have a lot of fun goodies to play with, but then I'll be on a sticker spending break for a little while, because that was a lot of purchases. Um, but look how cute it all looks. Okay, here, let's add in the purple and the yellow right on the self-care line and then I think we are done. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I think that's all for this one. All right, we are moving on to the bookworm sticker book for this daily page. Yeah, we just did this one and so we're moving on here. Let's see, I do want to create some like reading journal pages with some of these stickers. I've been trying to read more. It's hard with a four month old, but there are a lot of great stickers for this. But we are going to use some of the more decorative things, which there were a lot towards the back. And there was one in particular that I wanted to use, this one. It's just so pretty. And I just wanted to put it right here in the middle and kind of take up this whole space. Because I think it's so pretty. Today's focus will white out and just put a pile of books in there as like this day is a reading day. I do have like some staycation time coming up, which will be a really nice break. <laughs> and so maybe one of these days I'll use this daily page and just read all day long. Wouldn't that be lovely? Oh my goodness. And then I can totally add 
one of these all the way across the bottom but maybe add just a little bit more here maybe one of these book stacks um, this one's different yeah that fits perfectly just across like this look at these definitely needs to go in a reading journal okay so what I need, I don't want to use the favorite book quotes. What I need is, ooh. Uh, I don't want to put that in. Currently reading. Okay, let's grab colorful boxes maybe. I want something to go right here. Not shiny. Maybe something purpley. There are some books that are kind of this color, so let's go with that. I just want to fill in some of these gaps. I kind of want to cover up this white part, but I also really like the detail on her, so I don't really want to do that. Okay, instead, let's go from this side and do it here, and I'll cover up that other white one over there. Okay. I think that's it from that one. Add in just a little potted plant here because I'm trying to fill this little gap and that would be cute. And maybe a hanging plant up here just to give some more visual fun to the spread. All right, that's looking great. I think that's about all it needs other than just filling in some of these gaps. So like this can go right there. Do I need something there? Maybe not. These animals are super cute. Um, I think that's good. And I don't think I'll add any color with mild liners to this one. I think I'm going to leave this one as is. So there we are. All right, next up, we're going to use the bullet journal sticker book. And I was thinking this would be fun to later color in with my new click art pens. So I won't do that in this video because that'll be totally, you know, taking a long time and just a fun self-care activity, maybe while watching a show or something like that. But let's go ahead and use some of these pretty, pretty stickers and get started. All right, let's use some florals because those will be fun to fill in. Let's just cover them up right here. And let's put a remind, instead of this reminders here, let's put this label and I can label it something. Um, on the day of when I get to it. Just thinking about what I want to do. You know what I might want to do is take all the fun doodles from the back and just do like a little coloring page right there. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so let's go for it. Just a whole doodle section and I'll write doodle or coloring or something right up there.
I may have to move some stickers around as I figure out how I can fit things in. I want to make sure the cactus fits in well. It's a pretty good spot, I think. Here's a nice candle, but it won't fit there. Oh, these hearts are all separate, so that makes it easy to fit them in as needed. Great. pretty good. All right, that's going to be a nice, fun little coloring section. <laughs> okay, then we can go ahead and add, instead of the today sticker, let's have a little cloud sticker here, just so we're adding some of the bullet journal stickers across the page as well. So why don't I grab one click art pen right now just to write here and I'm going to use gray for these so that it still kind of follows the color scheme that we have so far and then I can just color everything in later. So this is the to-do list. Okay, so to do, and then let's just do coloring here. With a heart, because I had a little extra space. <laughs> okay. And then just seeing if there's any other stickers I'd like to put in. This one would fit in perfectly right here, but this may show through a little bit. So I'll just stick this in and then on the day when I use this page, I'll write in whatever I want the focus to be. I think we're pretty set. Like I don't think there's much more to put in. Just checking because this sticker book is so cute. All right. Yep. Yeah, I think we're good on this one. And then, though, we have a lot of gray in here right now. Um, since I've been highlighting some of the lines, I might do every other line with a gray for this page because I'm going to color everything else in. But this just pulls over the page a little bit, you know, with all of this stuff. Yeah. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay, last sticker book for now. Last daily page. We're going to do this really quick because I think my daughter's just waking up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some decorating. We're just going to lay some boxes down. These are some really, really cute stickers, but I want to definitely get all the colors in. So let's put a self-care box over there. Let's get this yellowy one in. That'll be good. And then get some decorations. So this planner is gonna be perfect. Oh, she just said time to wake up, so we're gonna go get her. I will finish this later. <laughs> 
All right, she's down here with me and we're gonna try to finish this real quick. This green and pink color scheme is really, really cute. All right, that watch fits there perfectly. And then I think these pens will actually go really nicely right here. I'll just have to cut off a tiny bit of it. And then I'm still looking for something to go in that today's focus spot. I think we'll use the computer icon. It has a little planner underneath it that's pretty cute. But for that, we just need to white out the whole thing up here. Perfect. That looks great. All right. Then lastly, instead of using mild liners on this one, I'm going to use the bullet points that are in the sticker book. So I'm just going to go through and put them down this whole row and then I'll be done. This is such a cute color scheme. I never would have thought to put this like kind of mustard or brown yellow in with all of this, but it's really quite cute. All right, and this is the last of the daily pages. So I'll show you all of them really quickly before I finish the video. And they're all completely different. So it's really fun. Let me know in the comments if you use daily pages or daily planner um, and what you use it for. Perfect. Okay, so we've got, well, that one I did before, um, not on this video. And then we've got these two, which are super bright and colorful. I love the use mild liner on both of them. So it's kind of even throughout the two pages. And then we've got <laughs> these two, both from Wrong Wrong, and then this one. So yay, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.